It is your homegirl Natalie and welcome to today's video where I am finally showing you I'm solving your style dilemmas. I'm styling you virtually. What? So I did this way way back when and I virtually styled 10 of my subscribers with clothing items that I had already in my own wardrobe but then I saw Alexa's video solving your style dilemmas and I was like oh she used things from Depop made outfits through there and it, you guys could also purchase any of these items so I'll link my Depop down below for all the items that I used in this video so let's get on with it you guys a little closer to me closer Okay, the first item says, Hi Natalie, I thought I'd let you have a try at this velvety purple dress. It's one of the bolder pieces I own, but I never know how to style it without just some black sneakers or boots. Maybe you know how to spice it up a little bit? <laughs> so the first thing that I picked out was a cardigan. I thought like maybe we could try to just put something on top of it to add more layers, more textures to it. So I picked like these fuzzy purple cardigans there are some that I did are just solid color just in case if you don't feel like too comfortable trying to add in different colors to it and there are other cardigans that have different patterns to it, they have different colors to it so if you're feeling a little bit more confident to try out something new then we could do something like that another thing that I thought was maybe potentially adding a black waistcoat to it since you said you already have black sneakers and boots I know that's also a fall trend so I thought you know maybe you could try to do that and I think there's something that you can easily thrift as well and of course everything will be linked in the description box on the Z pop that I made for this specifically for this video I thought to add in a purple sweater vest on top of it one that had more colors or a different pattern to it so I picked out these I think these are so so freaking cute but again if you already feel that this dress is already a little bit too bold so the next thing is I picked more just neutral sweater vest I thought maybe we could just put that on top of it so it adds in again another different layer to the dress and since you already have black sneakers I thought instead why not go with some white boots I feel like this dress is really giving me some retro vibes really nice knee-high or even some cowboy boots would do well just kind of like a pointy toe boot and then to add in like an additional type of accessory I thought to add in some thin scarves it could be a little thin neck scarves or crochet scarves or something so these are my final four looks I just played around with a couple different things like we did the purple cardigan and then I added in a little bit more pop of color with this purple polka dotted scarf and the second one again we're doing the same thing where I added in another layer to the outfit but it's neutral and I'm hoping that it doesn't feel like too crazy but if you want to go ahead and add in a little bit more color I added in that colorful neck scarf the third one I just added in a waistcoat I think that probably would be really easy just to throw on on top of it you could even obviously wear like blazers and stuff like that but if you want to showcase the dress more then maybe a waistcoat might do and the last one, I love it because I really love how this colorful sweater vest just looks like with the dress. So again, it's all up to you in terms of like your level of confidence with wearing different colors and prints and stuff like that. But yeah, I hope this helped. So for the next one, someone said, I hope these pictures are okay. I've had these items both for about a year, but I can't seem to figure out how to style them. The other one that she posted was this Duga 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 brown jacket, but I, I chose this green one instead because I was like, oh, she colorful. The first thing that I thought was for your bottom, since this is like pleather leather, why not try to wear some pleather pants or leather pants? I think that would look so cool, super chic, super like I'm ready for a night out on the town. The next thing, if you don't want to wear something that's like too going out-ish or something, then the the other option I have are some knit pants. You can play off with the green. You could also get like a printed knit pants, anything that has some green to tie it back into the jacket. Or you can always go ahead and try a different color. I think this blue with this green would look so, so cute just to make it more casual, just to put on a white t-shirt. Now it could have a print on it or it could have no print inside, depending on what you want <laughs> or what you like. Now the other option to wear with like a pink slip dress. <gasps> Pink and green complementary colors, they always go well. So I found these and these are so cute. I mean, you could either go for one that's like solid pink or one that has pink and green in it. I wish I could purchase them, but I can't because I'm in Korea and, and like shipping would take forever and I think would probably be expensive. <laughs> 
But yeah, no, these are so cute. I think this would be a really, really great other option if you wanted to wear it for like a date night out or a night out with your girls or something like that. Another option is to go for a slip dress that has more green tones in it. So it's not too far away from the jacket. And I also thought, why not some white boots? I think that would look cute. If you're gonna wear like the pink slip dress, I think the pink boots would look really cute. And another option, um, Wow, thank you, Albie. Or what you can do is try out some kitten heels. I picked these out that are green. You like them, Albie? You like these heels? Wave. <laughs> so I also picked out these kitten heels. So freaking cute. I don't know, I'm, I'm really digging the kitten heels right now. Let's look to the final outfits. Very cute. First one is a pink and green slip dress with the pink boots. Like, look at that. She looks so cute. The next one is a green slip dress and I thought to just add in the pink boots because you know, pink and green, again, complimentary colors. They're always gonna look good. The third one I think is really fun because we have those really bright blue knit pants. I did in a regular just white t-shirt and I put in those kitten heels so that it can match with the jacket as well. For the last one, kept it casual but also dressy and that's the beauty of it because you have a leather jacket but you have like a, just a regular white t-shirt, you have some leather pants and then for these kin heels, I chose ones that looked a little bit more dressed up just in case if you wanted to wear this for a more dressy occasion You could probably switch out the white t-shirt for just like a little like silk cami or something like that That would look really cute too. I hope this helps So we get to our third item. Hello. I love your content and your style bestie. Thank you girl Okay, so I have this olive green skirt that I thrifted it goes above my knees about two inches and is high-rise I want to add more color because I look like a waitress when I wear it, lol. I'd like to add more accessories so it doesn't look as plain too. Thanks! You guys really did me a favor with just giving me like solid color items. Thank you for that, I appreciate it. She says she wants to add in more color. Let's look for some colorful tops. I just literally like searched like colorful tops and I just got these. They all relatively kind of give me the same type of like saturation and they also have either green or blue in it because green and blue are what analogous colors yeah green and blue are analogous colors so that's why they go together anyways since it's olive green we could go for a blue cami this could be any sort of cami I just picked out some pretty cute ones another thing is I tried to see if we could do like a pink cardigan because also green and pink are complementary colors so I thought that also would look cute and also pink and blue looks really great together so pink blue olive green I'm thinking in my head this is gonna look cute so I gave you some options of ones that are more neutral or solid color versus ones that have different colors on it I personally would go with the one that has different colors on it because then it's easier to mix and match your outfit together if you're trying to feel a little bit more bold I thought hey why not put on a very bold and bright colorful blazer these are just some colors that I think would look really good with the skirt and since we wanted to add in more accessories I mean I was like listen we gotta add in a beret. We gotta add in a beret. So these are just a couple different shades that I picked out and you know just choose the one that would go best with your shirt. So when I saw this skirt kind of giving me like schoolgirl vibes and, and so because of fall time that preppy look is really in right now I thought why don't we go for some like chunky Mary Janes. These are some that I picked up. They are so yo. So yo. They are so cute man. Or other option is like a white cowboy boot. I feel like you really just can't go wrong with a white boot especially a cowboy boot. They just look really good so. I don't know, maybe this would look, make you look more like a clerk or something, but I also thought, hey, this would be a really cute combination. And I just picked out some neutral colors with it. And I think with that, you could just add in the colors with the other accessories, like the blazers or the hat and stuff like that. Let's get to the looks. Okay, so the first one's really cute. I mean, all of them are really cute. <laughs> For the first one, I picked this really bright and colorful shirt. I matched the yellow in that with the yellow blazer. And because it has blue in it, I picked that blue beret. And to just kind of put it together I added in these white cowboy boots I added in more of a muted beret uh, kind of muted pastel -y top with this really cute pastel cardigan and then I added in these pink Mary Janes I mean <gasps> this would be so cute so cute I love it. For the third outfit, we added in that waistcoat, waistcoat, right? Yeah, that waistcoat, but I wanted to still add in some color to it, so I threw on that blue blazer along with that more vibrant beret, and we just went with some black Mary Janes. 
like I, I want to wear these outfits <laughs> and for the last one again we added in another blue shirt I added in more of a lighter blue beret since that's a little bit light I added in that cream cardigan and those white cowboy boots as well yeah these are very cute these are very cute. Ooh, ooh. Our fourth one is, hey, I saw your story about wanting to help your subscribers with their styling. I have this jumpsuit and dress, which I find difficult to style due to the colors. Maybe you can help me with that since I love your style. Greetings. Well, yes, there was another dress that she posted, but I went with the jumpsuit and said, since I'm doing another slip dress, and those same kind of like rules apply to that. So I was like, okay, look, we try, we're trying something different. So a jumpsuit, like my first, Thing was like okay just add in accessories but just in case if you want to add in something more to that i thought since we're going more into fall time i'm hoping you're also going to fall time why not add in a sweater over it so since this is a little bit pink i thought why not go for a pink sweater to put on top of it i would probably crop it just like 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 tuck it up yeah that's what i like to do. if the pink is a little bit too much for you. I thought, okay, we can also do a black sweater because they are some black, like not polka dots, but little dots on the jumpsuit and that would work just as fine. And for the shoesies, I went with a kitten heel because I'm just really liking kitten heels at the moment. Other options, of course, are black boots because we're going into fall time, you want to be a little bit more warm. So did some knee high boots. I also added in some of the pink boots again. Um, so going back to just adding accessories, of course my first thing would be to add in a hat of course which hat uh, beret so yeah just throwing a beret on top of that would just do the trick and of course adding in belts now you could stack these belts I know there's a drawstring in there so you could change that for a thick belt if you'd like something else I was thinking of is if this jumpsuit is a little bit too much for you you went on the limb you're like I'm gonna buy this because I'm gonna get out of my comfort zone and now you're like oh this feels like it's too much something else that you can do is to throw on a neutral color to tone it down so I went with a black cardigan you could put that on top of it so it takes away from um, the print now you could do like maybe even a long black cardigan I think that would be a really great option or if you wanted to dress it up more then you go for a black blazer if you want to make this more dressy if you want to wear this for a night out more for work even a very fitted black blazer can do that for you so let's go to the final outfits all right we're going casual with the first one so I picked this pink sweater added in a beret on top and just some pink cowboy boots this is just a really cute look if you know maybe you're just going for like lunch or something like that i think the first one is casual but a little dressy you know the cash dress <laughs> cash up <laughs> and then the second one is more casual because we added in the black long cardigan and just added in some knee-high black boots i think this is good this is but we're good. The third option is we're doing a little bit more dressy, okay? A little bit more dressy. Let's say you're going from work to like drinks with your friends later on or a date. I don't know. I don't know your life like that, but maybe. So I added in this super duper cute cropped blazer. Like I want it so badly. Oh my God. And then I added in a belt and I paired it with some kitten heels because they're sensible enough, I guess, to wear to work and also that you could wear it out in the nighttime. <laughs> and the fourth outfit, super simple. I added in that same black beret and I just put on some, I just put on, <laughs> I just put on the computer. I just copy and pasted some pink boots on top of there. I hope this helps. I mean, and when you're dealing with something that you feel that is really bold or it's out of my comfort zone, the colors are too much or the print is too much, always your best thing to do is to mix it with neutrals to mix it with um, things that will tone it down so yeah like the cardigan like a blazer just something that will take attention away from the actual item <laughs> the weather has been changing here and it's been really messing up my eyes I've been rubbing my eyes so much and I'm like I have astigmatism already and this is gonna make it worse but I still do it because my eyes become so itchy. <laughs> Moving along. Okay. So, next one. Would love help to style this super cute, well, I add in super, super cute little dress I got from a Brooklyn stoop sale. Stoop kid never leaves a stoop. So, 
<laughs> so, sorry, I'm very hungry. The first thing that I thought was, okay, fall time, want to add in the layers, what can you do? You're gonna add in a little mesh shirt underneath. I found these super cute ones, most of them from this one girl called Honeyberry. Hey, Miss Honeyberry, thank you for, you know, putting these shirts up. But yeah, just any kind of little mesh shirt I think would do really well. Want to be a little bit more classy, all right? Another option is to add in a puff sleeve shirt underneath. I think that would look really cute. All the girlies, we need a puff sleeve moment in our wardrobe because it works so well just by itself, but then also to layer underneath things, yes. Let's say you're trying to do a little bit more colorful. I also got you some colorful puff sleeve options as well. I really want that pink one from Depop Moira, but it would not fit me. And then, you know, we're throwing in the kitten heels again, okay? I keep throwing on the kitten heel. It's just, they're just very cute and I like it. But if you wanted to toughen it up more or make it more casual, if you wanna, you know, walk around the city a little bit more, <laughs> then another option would be some black boots, like those chunky combat boots. Like they're always my go-to. Albie just kicked me. Albie, you just kicked me. Yeah. He don't care. If you wanna break up the dress a little bit more, then you could always put on some belts. What if we want to do some pattern clashing? So what I picked out were some polka dot like satin shirts. Polka dots are pretty small. So the whole thing with like when you're clashing patterns is that you want one big one small. So the other one acts like a neutral, I guess. So since these flowers are quite big, that's why I went with smaller little polka dots and these ones all have black on it. So it doesn't look like it's too crazy. I always say that it's not too crazy, but yeah, it doesn't look too crazy because you at least have that black polka dot so it's tying in the black from the dress to your shirt as well but if you want to have more fun you can also go ahead and try out just a colorful option so that's why i picked out these here the pink would look really cute if you wanted that pop of color you want that pop 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 K pop stands, you will know what I'm talking about. We get to our final, final looks. So, for the first one, I picked out this baby blue, like long puff sleeve shirt to put underneath the dress and some kitten heels. Second one is relatively the same, but I added that big red one. I think this would be like date kind of thing. Added in the belt and another pair of little kitten heels. Third one, we're being more casual, more grungy with it, so I added in that star mesh shirt and also a belt. The fourth option, which I think would be my my go-to option because I really love how that pink comes out. Added in this pink satin shirt and some patent leather boots. This is she a cute look. Yes, if I do say so myself. So we talked about pattern clashing and stuff and I felt like for the most part all the items that you guys gave me I was like okay yes I can work with this very easy but this next item we're taking pattern clashing even more and this is this cow print vest okay from my girl Karina. <laughs> Karina <laughs> was like, I feel like I don't know how to style this without it looking like a costume. And I asked her, I was like, well, you know, what kind of style would you like it to be, you know, more of? And she's like, mm, well, more like classic style with the statement piece. I feel like I don't know how to mix patterns, so maybe that too. So don't worry, girl, I got you. First thing I was like, okay, why don't we try to do some mixed patterns? So I thought, same again, polka dots. I think it's a really easy pattern to mix. And again, these polka dots are quite small, so it basically just acts as a neutral. I was just thinking like maxi skirts in general I think would look really cute with this so I picked a black one. There are some you know a little polka dot option or like this tiered looking one which would be killer on you girl. Third option of bottoms is something that's colorful. Again I'm going with the maxi skirt. It's fall time and if you want to incorporate maybe some more fall trends then I think this would be a great opportunity to do that. So we went with a colorful solid color maxi skirt. There were so many options for this. For the fourth option bottom option. <laughs> I thought a leather or like pleather skirt would be really cute. A solid color one or even like this printed pattern one. I think because this print is very busy it wouldn't look bad with this cow printed vest. Go ahead with a black or even white leather skirt playing off with neutrals since this might be a little bit too much okay you ain't trying to throw in a whole bunch of different patterns. You could also do cottage core because I know girl you got that long cottage core maxi skirt so I think even that that would look really cute because we ain't there with the maxi skirts. I thought, okay, let's try to do a little bit more pattern clashing. I went with these different pattern skirts. And the thing that I hope that makes it work is the fact that they are a neutral base color. So they're either brown, cream, kind of in that same tone. So it doesn't look, you know, 
too crazy. What are we gonna be putting up top, right? We got all these different bottoms. I was thinking just turtlenecks would probably be the best thing. I gave you some options of colorful ones or just black ones. Colorful ones, if you're feeling a little bit more bold, okay? What I think this would look really, really cute with is a white satin shirt. And I'm pretty sure you have one. I wanna wear something else. I thought, what if you paired it with a brown slip dress? Karina is very like this girl always be finding slip dresses even when i was thrifting in america i could not find one but my girl karina always finds slip dresses so if you don't already have a brown one i think this could look really great with it so a brown slip dress or you could even do a black slip dress i think if you're trying to make it not like too costumey then don't go for a pointed boot or like a cowboy boot because then it'll go into the whole like you know Woody. So I looked for more square toe boots instead. But yeah, we had some brown ones, we got some white ones, and I even uh, added in the option of a white chunky sneaker or just like regular sneakers. The last little thing that I thought is why not put it together with a bandana? You could go for one that's solid color or one that is mostly brown with some prints. For this vest one, I actually came up with eight different looks because it's a vest and I had to really make a lot of options for essentially the rest of the outfit and I just want to give you and give everyone else that's watching this um, maybe some more ideas because this was pretty tricky. So for the first one, we're going for a whole monochromatic look, a yellow turtleneck with a yellow pleather skirt. And to tie it together, I added in those brown boots so it'll go with the brown in the, the brown in the the brown the brown in the vest and you also have brown hair so it all comes together <laughs> to me second one is more of that classic style so i paired it with white cream satin button up with some high-waisted pants i think some chunky sneakers and a little brown bandana would look super cute and i'm sure you have all of this already in your wardrobe third outfit kind of thinking more dressed up so we're going with a brown little slip dress i added in this other brown bandana but instead of just making it all brown i added in one that had a little bit more pop of color because I think you could do that with this outfit because the rest of it is quite neutral. For the fourth look, this looks like a regular little neutral outfit, but we're actually mixing patterns because of the polka dotted skirt, but you don't even like see that because the polka dots are so small and it's tiered, which is so cute. The brown bandana and this kind of like yellow mustardy boots. For the next batch of outfits, I wanted to be a little bit more adventurous so we're going on with more pattern clashing again because this brown like zebra 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 skirt because it's quite busy it just looks like a neutral to me in my eyes i added in just this light blue little turtleneck it's not adding in too much bold color since we're going with more of a cream tone i added in these lighter brown boots and creamy bandana for the second one again we're doing some more pattern clashing but because a lot of that skirt has white it doesn't look like too bold so that's why i added in this hot pink turtleneck and said it's just in case you wanted to add it in a pop of color and just some regular boot for the third outfit so i think this black tiered skirt would look really cute again with the white satin button up and just some regular sneakers and the fourth one is like the last outfit with the brown satin dress and said it's just a black satin dress so this one was a little bit hard I really had to think about it but I liked it this was a challenge and I really hope that this helps you you know put these outfits together girl you better show me some of these outfits girl you better show me some of these outfits actually that goes to all of y'all I really hope that you try and you know put this up on IG tag your girl I want to see how the outfits came out. All right, our second to last one says, hi Natalie, are you still accepting submissions for styling? I have a unique low top that I haven't been able to wear because I don't know how to style it. This type of crop button up was really, really big for summertime. I saw a lot of that in Korea. So that's where I was taking inspiration from. For this one, I thought of some colorful tube tops if you're trying to add in more color. So even ones that have a little bit more prints to it or even striped. Or we can just go ahead with a blue kind of like spaghetti strap shirt since the crop top is blue. Adding in blue or a black one could be a little bit easier if you're not too keen about trying, you know, different colors or bold patterns but also gave you the option of you know just in case if you wanted to maybe mix and match with knit pants i gave you these funky prints i think because the top is so casual you could just get away with just wearing something like this because it's not gonna make it look like you know too dressed up or, or anything like that playing off of that i feel like you could really get away with wearing some pretty cool different kind of bottoms so i picked out these um and they're either 
neutral toned or they have blue in it. And I was thinking, oh, it would be really cute to wear this with some Oxfords. And because it's fall time, so we're going off of the fall trends. And I'm adding in the white sneaker because I feel like you can do no wrong with adding in a white sneaker to an outfit. Another top option, I thought, why not just wear a regular cream top? This could be a halter top or a just off the shoulder top. Just anything that's cream would do well. If you want to add in a little bit more warmth to the look, I was thinking maybe wearing a turtleneck. Since this is a Uniqlo top, I'm guessing you shop at Uniqlo anyways. So definitely go ahead and purchase the heat tech from Uniqlo. It's a little bit expensive, but it definitely helps for the winter time. And it's a really great layering piece. If the knit pants are a little bit too much for you, I was thinking just regular black dress pants. And I definitely saw a lot of that here um, this summer in Korea. And the last little thing is just adding in some black boots because yeah why not <laughs> here are our final four looks from the first to the fourth one I'm going for like more bold and light colors to darker so we added in just a regular cream top with this really cute knitted green pants and because there is some cream in that knitted pants that's why it ties in the knit top and I think because of the blue button up it's not like a vibrant super saturated like in your face type of color you can really use it as a neutral piece and then I just put it with these white sneakers the second look I thought let's have a little bit more fun a little bit more bold so i added in this bolder little blue top okay there's blue there let's go for these really funky black pants and because there's blue there there's blue here there's blue here in my head it makes it all work our third look we're doing a little bit more dressed up so i added in that black turtleneck these really cool and funky printed pants and some black boots and our fourth one is very casual, neutral, just a black tube top with some black dress pants and some little Oxfords. It could be black. I just picked white just to add in a different color to it. I wanna bother you, Abby. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, uh, uh. Abby, you got long arms. Okay, Abby, Abby, this is our last. <laughs> Abby, wanna tell you something. Abby, this is our last outfit. Can you believe it, Abby? Abby, give me paw if you can't believe it. Oh my God, you can't believe it. I know. <laughs> yes, so we get to our final, final look. This person says, hey, I just, well, I added in the hey. <laughs> I just bought one of these and I'm plus size and have only been wearing solid or striped colored tees under. Please show me some other ideas. Girlfriend, I got you. The first thing when I saw this, I was like, oh, what we gotta do is add in like a big colored shirt. I think that would look really cute, especially because you have that square neckline to play with. So I picked out these. Yeah, I just thought that would look really fun. Since you've already been wearing solid and striped color stuff. Abby, were you... Abby, were you doing that on camera? Oh my god. And since you're already doing solid and stripes, I thought, why not? Let's kind of do some colorful mesh tops instead. So I picked these out. They're really cute. The dress is just black so you could really have a lot of fun in mixing and matching your clothes together because this right here is a solid piece so regardless of what you're wearing everywhere else like this is gonna tie it together so trust me it's gonna be really easy for you once I show you these options I hope you're like yes you know what I can do that so if where you live is starting to get a little bit colder but you want to wear this dress thought why not wear a super colorful sweater underneath the dress that I think would look really fun so I thought some just colorful sweaters I just picked these out so hopefully you like them and then to give you some outerwear options I went with a black blazer it could be a leather blazer or just a regular blazer or if you wanted to add in some color I got you some color blazers also very cute again I wish I could purchase these what makes an outfit isn't just the clothes that you're wearing but also the accessories that you put on so I thought let me give you some options first one is a newsboy little cap I also gave you a beret option but I thought okay let's <laughs> let me just throw in a different style of hat but the newsboy cap I think would be really cute gave you some black and also some color options these are just some colors that I just randomly picked out but literally you could wear any type of color hat that you'd like if you're wearing color here color there like everywhere else and you need something to tie the black that's where the hat comes in because then your hat could be the piece that ties in the black together 
with the rest of the outfit. And another really cute thing, I think because you have like this space to work with, I thought what you could also do is put on some big collars on top of it. And these are some ones that I found and I think they're so cute. It's such an easy way to just like spice up an outfit. You could even just wear this dress just with the collar itself and like a blazer or something and that alone would look really cute. I recently got a collar and I wear it when I need it to tie in with another collar or when I just feel like my outfit looks just a little bit too plain, I'll just throw that on and it just elevates it for me. And another thing you can do is just add in some tights if you just wanna maybe add in some color or add in some different textures to your outfit. These are just some tights that I found. You could go crazy with this. And for shoes, I gave you all the options that we basically, I gave everyone else. So the kitten heels, the little pink booties, the little black boots, the little Oxford. <laughs> and they also gave you the option of a strappy heel. The reason why is I wanted to just show you that you could even dress it up even more. Also because I feel like we should always have a strappy heel in our wardrobe. I mean, I have one pair of strappy heels and it's just an easy way to make an outfit look more classy and dressed up. So our first outfit is super fun. Um, I added in this really cute printed mesh top with this red newsboy cap and some knee high boots. Our second outfit added in this colorful sweater, added in the beret. I also thought to add in the collar as well, along with some black Oxfords. For our third outfit, I was thinking, you know, little day, little, you know, some sun in the city or something. Super beautiful colored shirt with some strappy heels and that's it. You're gonna look cuter. I mean, our last one, like, I don't know, maybe if you were like going to work or something like that. So I added in this mesh top that has some yellow. So that's why I added in a yellow newsboy cap and I just threw a black blazer on top of it to, just to give you more options. <laughs> and then I added in these pink boots because yellow and pink always look cute together. So why not? And that y'all is all of our outfits. This was so much work. I thought this was gonna be easier than what I did, but it ended up being so much more <laughs> because you had to research a lot. You had to like copy and paste and everything. And I'm like, whew, but I'm really happy with how it turned out. I really hope that this helped you, you know, get more inspiration. Even if you weren't the person that sent it in, uh, maybe you have something in your own wardrobe that kind of looks like that, or, you know, you needed some help in how to pattern clash or whatever, or, something like that, I don't know. I hope it helped and I hope you really enjoyed this video. Yeah, this past two months have been really crazy and I'm just trying to get back on my feet. So thank you so much for sticking around. Thank you so much for supporting me, watching this video, for liking, for sharing, for commenting, you know the deal. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Hope this video finds you safe. Hope you're doing well. And that's it. Bye. Albie, you wanna say bye? Albie high five. Yeah, good boy.